We built the microbiology lab here at Dyson about 13 years ago, and as far as we know, it's the only in-house lab of any floor care manufacturer in the world. We wanted to really understand what was in-house dust, but we couldn't find that expertise anywhere, so we decided to build our own lab. Well, this is typically what you'd recognise as house dust, but actually there's a much smaller fraction to dust, and that's primarily made up of human skin cells. People actually shed anywhere up to 28 grams of skin a week, as much as kind of a bag of crisps. The skin is actually the primary food source for house dust mites. Now, dust mites are really tiny, and that's part of the problem is that people don't know that they're in their home. Just in this one jar, there could be tens of millions of dust mites. And actually, you can have about a thousand of these dust mites in just a square meter of carpet, and a million in a single mattress. So each one of those dust mites is producing up to 30 fecal pellets a day. You can see the scale of the problem that there's a lot of these fecal pellets being produced, and that's what people breathe in, and that causes the allergic reaction. You don't have to have an allergy now to become allergic to dust mites. That can happen over time, and particularly in children. So it is really important that you know that they're in your home and you try to do something about it. So we spend a lot of time designing our filters and our seals to make sure that we actually retain the dust and only emit really clean air. Unfortunately, some other manufacturers don't take that same care and attention. So you end up emitting the dust mite allergen back into the air that you're breathing. There are other constituents of dust beyond just dust mites. There's bacteria, there's mold, pollen, pet dander. Now these are all things that can cause humans problems. Some manufacturers claim that they've developed technology that actually helps remove or eradicate those things from dust. But we've been researching those exact same technologies over the last 10 years, so we actually know they don't work. For example, UVC light. Now this is ultraviolet light and it's a kind of radiation and it can, in the right circumstances, kill dust mites. Unfortunately, if you try that in a vacuum cleaner though, it's just a misapplication of that technology. It can't really work. You need to be moving very, very slowly and you need direct line of sight to the thing you're trying to kill. Ionizers are another example of a, a misapplied technology. In a vacuum cleaner, there's just too much air movement and there's not enough ions being produced. And there's no real evidence to show that the ions actually do go out into the air and, and kill anything. All of our research has shown us that the best way to deal with bacteria, pollen and dust mite allergens is just to remove them from your home completely. And that's why we focus our efforts on designing vacuum cleaners that pick the dust up from the floor, have cyclones that are incredibly efficient to keep it in the machine, and then filters and seals that make sure it doesn't get emitted back out into your home.